How do you think you're nerds? We're making a 3D printer out of CD-ROM drives. And we still got a lot to do, but first, a couple of announcements. March 31st, 2019 is my book release date. And I'll be doing a live streaming event two to three Eastern time from the Durham County Library Maker Lab. You can go to this website if you need more details. And you can go to this website if you wanna find out what two to three Eastern time is in your time zone. And I'm also gonna be doing a contest to celebrate the book release, but I'll do a separate video on that later in the week. All right, let's continue. So far in this project, we've taken apart an optical drive, removed the laser train stepper motor, connected the stepper motor to a motor driver, and then made it dance with an Arduino. Super sweet! And you guys had some excellent feedback regarding that video, so let's take a look at some of the comments. First off, do you need to use the Easy Driver motor controller? Nope. There's lots of different alternatives available depending on which route you want to go. For instance, if you wanted to put a little bit more money into it, you could invest in one of these Arduino CNC controller shields. It'll tidy everything up, make it look nicer, and make it easier to connect the motors. A few of you were curious as to what the prints looked like, and to be honest, they're small and basic. They're small because they can only print as large as the stepper motor spindle, which is only a couple inches. And why are they basic hollow shapes? because I ended up having to write the G-code by hand and I didn't really want to make it complicated. G-code is what tells the motors how to move in order to print something. And since this is such a small and highly customized machine, most of the software for creating G-code was overkill and it wasn't customizable enough to work with this homemade piece of junk. But we can talk more about that in a later video. Could you print larger items if you use the motors and rails from something like a scanner or a printer? Absolutely you could. And you should even be able to use the same motor drivers in Arduino code that we're using for this project. And I ended up just getting my hands on an old scanner, so expect a future video of that as well. Alright, what's next in our project? One comment mentioned how weak the optical drive stepper motors are in terms of power and torque. And that is definitely true and something I have witnessed firsthand. So in trying to think of ways to make this tiny motor more efficient, I ran across this comment and decided that I'd go the route of trying to design design and print a new tray slider. I know, I know, I'm using a 3D printer to make a 3D printer. Well, that's actually something that happens a lot in the 3D printing community. Besides, I've already made one using upcycled parts, and for this one, the goal is to make it better. And I know a lot of you don't have your own 3D printers, but a lot more libraries, universities, and maker spaces have 3D printers available for public use. So you may have access to one and not even know it. And if not, you can always upload your designs to an online 3D printing service. Service. That said, the problem with these drives is that they're not meant to hold extra weight. The moment you have too much weight, the motor stalls. So after a lot of sketching, designing, and trial and error, this seems to be the design that works best. The motor sits in the middle and just guides the tray, while the two metal rails take the bulk of the weight. So this is basically the x-axis, and the idea from here is to do something similar for the y and z axes. The nice thing about making my own custom parts is that I can customize them for any extension that I want to use. Whether it be a 3D pen, a pencil, a cutting bit, or even a laser. Give me your feedback on where I'm at so far. Do you think I'm going the right direction with this? How would you design the different axes? Let me know in the comments below. In the next video, I'm going to be tackling the wiring and circuitry for all this, so let me know how you would deal with that as well. Got any ideas? You can submit your own or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this and if you got any value out of my show and like to give some value back please consider liking subscribing or following me on social media that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com